Hey guys, Sneaky Kitty Game Dev here, and in this series, I want to start working on a pinging system. So this is going to be kind of a very rudimentary system. It's not going to be super complex, but it's going to be something along the lines of what you would see in things like, you know, Valorant, for example, just on a simpler scale. So basically, the idea behind it is, I hit play, and I want to let's say, I don't know, we'll ping that blue cube. So I'm moving my cursor to it, which doesn't exist currently. I middle mouse button on the cursor, or on the cube, and boom, suddenly there is a ping right where my impact of the trace hit. So we're basically going to spawn one of these doodads, and then I want to also have it set to where it'll display the distance in meters away from, you know, how far away you are from said ping. And obviously, because this is only really useful for multiplayer applications, this will be replicated. So, to simplify things, what we're going to be having is a simple actor here. I'm not sure if I want to use a billboard or not because I do want to display text and they don't really have one with a billboard. So we're going to be manually setting the actor location, or sorry, the actor rotation based upon your position as well as updating it. So we can kind of do, or updating the distance. So we can kind of do that all at the same time. So to begin, we need to kind of come up with a basic way to, you know, just a basic actor that we would want to spawn for pinging. And then we're going to go ahead and later on, do some optimization such as caching this actor so that way we're not spawning or destroying. The only thing is we're doing is just hiding and unhiding and moving the transform around. And then later on, we may get into optimizing a bit farther with, you know, things like setting up a component that handles the solve to kind of keep it clean as well as handle dormancy. So that way, if it's not in use, we don't have to worry about anything replicating and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to pretty much wrap up what the end goal is. So we can go ahead and begin. So we're going to create just a simple actor. So grab an actor, going to make it public and we'll put this, eh, we could just leave it all here because we're not going to have very many classes at all. And I'm going to call this one, let's do a, just call it ping. And create the class. Okay, once that's done, we now have it set up. And the only thing that I want to do really in the rest of this video is just going to be setting up what all we would need. So we need to kind of think here. So obviously we could have, you know, a mesh, which would basically do kind of the same thing as this setup. That would just have a simple material applied to it. So just be a plane. But that's really not needed because we're literally just having a single texture. So what we can do is we can make a material billboard or a normal billboard that has this texture applied. And that way it also follows it everything around, you know, the direction we're facing and all that kind of stuff for us. The only thing is we're going to have to still manage to do that for the text render component. So what I think I'm going to do is use the material billboard for the sake of the actual ping and then have the text render component be separate. And that's something we completely just rotate around to face our character whenever a ping you know, is active. So we need two components. So I'm gonna make a protected section and we know that this one is a, let's see, I thought that would list the actual name of the component, but it's material billboard. So it should be something like view material, material billboard. Yep, new material billboard component. So we're going to forward declare that. U material billboard component. And we're going to do this as a U property. We're going to do edit, defaults only. Uh, we, I don't care. Nope, not going to bother with the category. And U material billboard component. And let's call this one ping billboard. Now we need another one. So we need the view text render component. Same thing, edit defaults only, and view text render component. Let's call this one ping text. And that's going to be what houses our distance. And we just got to kind of adjust everything in Blueprint to really suit what we need. So we are going to be making use of a tick. So we want to make sure that that stays. And you can really just kind of leave everything else as is. Let's go ahead and create the objects. So ping billboard equals create default sub object u material billboard component and let's just call this one ping billboard component and we're going to make this one the root so root component equals ping billboard 
as you can see, it automatically included it for me. So make sure you conclude components, material build work component. Next up, we have the text or the uh, ping text. Create default sub object of the type U text render component. Again, it included it up here for me. And we're going to name this one ping text render component. Oops. And make sure you wrap that up. Then we want to choose ping text, set up attachment to the ping billboard. And there we're done. So out of curiosity, let's make sure live coding actually works in this case too. Okay, seems like it has, but we'll find out here in a second. So I'm gonna grab my ping, create a blueprint class, and I'm gonna call it BP underscore ping. And we have our components. So there's our text render, and here's our billboard. So let's go ahead and grab the billboard, give that the material. In my case, I already have a simple triangle here. So all that is, is just a triangle texture. It's translucent and an opac or a masked material. So it's literally nothing. You can set that up yourself in a matter of minutes. Just do whatever you want with whatever shape or design you want. I'm gonna leave that pretty much as is, and you can see the issue with the text as it does not rotate based upon your camera. So when we have it out here, that was not what I wanted to grab. When we have it out here, you can see we'll want it to rotate to face our camera, just like we have the uh, triangle here. So we'll have to set that up, and that'll probably be in the next video just to get that up and running. Alrighty. So that pretty much wraps up this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons, as well as a Conquest series. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hop my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.